doesn't break. Can we do that? If you ask me, it's a little bit shifty. Just saying. Welcome back, my beautiful queen to girl Jess. And today's video is my favorite drugstore finds that I have been using for over a few years now. And I want to share them with you because they're all under $30, some under $20, some under $10. I'm trying to keep it under $10, although some do exceed that $10 limit. So let's just say under $20 and let's get to the video so i'm going to start off with lips first this is something that you probably won't hear ever and a lot of people don't recommend but i actually really love this lipstick it's the ultra three i believe this is from like ronnie's big w stuff like that now this lipstick is so neutral and it is actually really creamy it's so underrated this is like a few dollars honestly it looks so nice on it's very creamy the packaging is a bit, you know, cheap, but the product itself is really good. It is a bit more of a she check texture, so I wouldn't like go in thinking it's going to be super like, pigmented, but I feel like it's pretty good if you want something natural. They have really nice shades. I personally really like this, and I, I believe it's a few dollars, so if I were you, I would... Uh, give it a go if you want. This is Dusty Pink 021. I really, really like this one. Another drugstore find that I recently found. This is a recent one and I really, really like this one. Don't mind the top, it melted off, oh my God. This is the Rimiel. oh wow. Rimiel Unclothed 700. This is a really nice nude shade. Like, it's really creamy as well. It's super pigmented. I believe this was like $6. I will say the packaging, although is a bit cheap, but you know, it is what it is. It's nice and sheet, not too, too strong, but this would look amazing over a nice lip liner. You know, I have, I have just made a video about lip liners and stuff. I'll link it up here. My favorite ones are Essence, but anyways, you can definitely use this on top. It is so nice. And then if you want to go over with a gloss, totally up to you. This is my favorite one. This is the BYS, <laughs> the Cannabis. Sativa oil. I didn't know what sativa was until I googled it. So it's just a type of thing that people do. Anyway, this is so great because not only does this hydrate, but it's a gloss and it's, it doesn't have that ugly tacky feeling. It just is so calming. It's nice. I love it. And it's like, I'm pretty sure it's like $6.95 or something. And it's quite big. It's like 15 mil or something. I don't know where it says it. 13 mils. Okay, I was close. But still, you only need a little bit to cover your lips, no matter how big they are. Trust me, sis. Okay, let's talk foundations. These two are probably one of my favorite drugstore foundations that I personally have used, although there are obviously other ones that I really, really like. This one is the Milani Cream to Powder Foundation. Oh my god, I have two videos. I will link them up here for you. A wear test. This is incredible. It just glides on the skin. It actually looks so flawless when you put it on. It's 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 amazing. I just don't know why I started. It also has a compact where it has a mirror. And then this, I, I don't use it, but you can if you want. And at least if like you're in the car, you just look like, oh, I just need to like do a little touch, touch, touch. You've got this. Then I've mentioned this in I don't know how many videos and I don't know how many TikTok videos or whatever, but this is my tried and true, my little baby. Literally my little baby. I take her. Every time I travel, I take her with me because she, you know, me and her have this really solid collection. And I actually just purchased another one, which I'm so excited to come because this one is running out and it's really like, it's really sad. I didn't think I could buy it because I could only get it from America, but I'll leave the link down below if you're in Australia and you want to get it. It's the L'Oreal True Match. Yeah, it's just, they have the best shades. This also has sunscreen in it, so it's going to protect your skin. It's just, oh. So good. This is definitely, in my opinion, a replica for the Giorgio Armani Luminous Silk. They are actually manufactured at the same spot, so if you ask me, it's a little bit shifty. Just saying. <laughs> this is another really, really nice eyeliner. This is from Essence. Essence has a really underrated brand in general. They're really, really good. This is the Super Last Eyeliner Deep Black. Now, I have to say something with this. It is really good, although you don't want to get this in your eye. You don't want to get anything in your eye, ever. But when this gets in your eye, it stings a little bit. So just be cautious with that. I'll show you how it looks and how it applies. 
So it has this like a little stick wand kind of thing and it's like really black and you can, if you need to fix it, you can use your finger. It dries up. It like dries up not that long, not long after you apply it. And it does last in my defense, like all day and night. So this is, I think $4 or $5. It just, it's just incredible what you find for such an affordable price. Now this, my little baby, my little baby. This is, in my opinion, a dupe for the Huda Beauty. Where is it? The Huda Beauty palette, this one. In my opinion, I just feel like they're they're the same. It's broken, I can't open it. Oh wait, no, it's not broken. Oh, it is, but I gotta be cautious. So this shade here, as you can see, I've used all of it. I don't even know what it's called anymore. Uh, Maldives, I believe. I feel like this is the exact same dupe. It literally, this broke as well. My, my products just fall and they just break and it's really sad. We need to make a product or something where it just doesn't break. Can we do that? Just don't know, I don't know anymore. Anyways, it's so embarrassing because like when I put this on, I'm like, yeah. I'm just gonna put one on, I need to buy a new one, but it's not finished. But anyways, getting carried away. This is the Maybelline Masters Chrome Highlighter. I wanna show you how it applies, okay? Look at that. Oh my gosh. It's so pretty, it complements my skin. They do only have, I think, another shade. This works well on a lot of skin tones, and then you have a another one that's a bit lighter, and that works so well as well on lighter skin tones. I wish they would come out with something a bit deeper for deeper skin tones, but I do sometimes use this on my deeper skin tone clients, and it actually looks really nice, especially in the inner corner of the eyes, and then just a little highlight. So I highly recommend this. I believe it's about $10. Correct me if I'm wrong, sometimes, Chemist Warehouse has them on like $7. And I'm sure in America it's like $5, but just, I'm just gonna put that one out there. This is just a really quick video. I wanted to show you some of my favorite drugstore products. Let me know if you want more of this or if you want me to do like a dupe side-by-side high-end versus drugstore. I feel like that would be really cool and it would be able to show you that you can really achieve any makeup look that you want with very nice affordable products because affordable products work just as well as a high-end product. So don't be fooled, please, my beautiful queens. Keep slaying and subscribe and I will see my beautifuls in my next video. Bye!